Luke 16, fascinating passage. Make friends for yourself, Jesus says, by means of unrighteous wealth, so that when it fails, they may receive you into the eternal dwellings. Now, this is the story of the unjust steward, uh, and you have to read the whole context to get the picture. My book, Managing God's Money, um, deals with this. But uh, the, the idea is that we all have a term of service for the Lord, and that term of service in this world is going to come to an end just like it does for the steward in the parable. And so he goes around and does some things and actually some dishonest things, and he's not commended for his dishonesty, but just his shrewdness in anticipating, hey, I'm going to be out of a job, and before, between now and then, I'm going to try to make friends uh, who will bring me into their dwellings. And then Jesus is saying, so that, um, you know, wealth is temporary. Use it in people's lives. So that when it fails, and that's when, when your term of service on this earth is over, there's no more money, there's no more living on the earth, now you go to be with the Lord. It's not that they may receive you into the eternal dwelling place, heaven, but it appears to be references to the individual places where they live, dwellings. And again, from Isaiah 65, if you see that, not just millennium, but new earth, that there will actually be places we live where we can extend hospitality uh, to other people, where people can come visit us. We know the nations of the, uh, you know, uh, we know that we're going to be living on the new earth. Does everybody, like, live on the streets? Or are there residences? Well, it, it appears to be there are residences. It even talks about, in Isaiah 65, the, the building of houses. But that's a fascinating thing, so that, you know, Give generously of your assets God has entrusted to you in this world. And then as somebody um, asked the, uh, the Kim, right? As Kim asked the question earlier, did, is that investment going to, you know, as you give to a ministry, is it going to make a, a difference in eternity? Are you going to experience the reward of it? And in this case, yes. You're, it's another passage that supports it, that people who have come to faith in Christ and have been helped through what you have given them. Maybe their children have um, received um, the kinds of medical treatment that they needed because you gave to this uh, famine relief ministry and development ministry. We'll welcome you into their homes.